Sparkling Wine Service. The purpose of this task is to present, open and serve sparkling wine in a safe and professional manner. Listen carefully to the order given by the organizer, since it might not be repeated. In a competition setting, all sommeliers should be prepared for some alternative or challenging scenarios to test their skills. Communicate with the guest. Who is the host? Would they like food recommendations? Etc. Good evening, you're very welcome. My name is Julie, I will look after you this evening. I will be your sommelier. I believe you ordered a bottle of Fleur de Miroval champagne? Yes, exactly. Perfect. Three coasters are needed. One coaster for the bottle, one coaster for the cork, one larger coaster or plate for the ice bucket. You also need three napkins. One over the bucket to dry the bottle, one under the bucket to absorb condensation water, whether on the guéridon or pedestal, and one for pouring the sparkling wine properly. You need a tasting glass and an ice bucket, which contains sufficient ice and water and is on a plate or pedestal. Ensure the bottle is properly chilled and keep it chilled. If there are several bottles to choose from, the sommelier checks whether they are using the coolest one. The bottle is kept within the bucket as often as possible. Sommeliers should be familiar with all types of closures used for sparkling wine. Always dry the bottle with a napkin if needed. Presenting to the host, state the wine, vintage, producer, appellation and country name where applicable. The host needs to confirm. This should be done from the side that causes the least disturbance to the guests. Champagne Fleur de Miraval. Perfect. Treat the bottle gently at all times. It is important to choose the correct glassware and ensure that they are clean and not chipped. Sometimes the guest demands bigger and wider glass rather than a classic flute glass for sparkling wine, which enables the fruity aromas to become more expressive. Make sure to communicate with the guests regarding the personal preference of the glassware. Always use a tray when transporting glasses. Put down the glasses with the logo type facing the guests and in a consistent manner for all the guests around the table. Always dry the bottle with a napkin if needed. Always use a coaster when opening a bottle, making sure that the tablecloth remains dry, clean and tidy. Cut the foil in a tidy manner below the cage while the bottle is standing on a coaster. Place the foil in your pocket. The bottle should always be standing upright whilst unwinding the wire of the cage. Keep one hand on the top of the muselier, having full control over the cork, ensuring it does not pop out of the bottle. So this is a rosé only champagne. It's a joint venture between three families, family Perrin, family Pitt and family Peters, and it's a really rare champagne. When opening the bottle, ensure that it is held with two hands, one under the bottom and one around the cork, whilst the cage is still on for safety measures. The bottle must be pointing away from the guests at all times. It's actually the first release on the market that we have here this evening on the list. The sommelier keeps a firm grip at all times. Turn the bottle, not the cork. If necessary, she or he may turn the bottle back and forth for safety. The bottle is inclined at about 45 degrees whilst opening. Two hands must be on the bottle at all times to control it safely. The use of a napkin is optional, but ASI recommends a napkin not to be used when handling the cork. Separate the plaque de museli from the cork if possible and place them on a coaster. The foil and the cage are put away in the sommelier's pocket. Always make sure to use a napkin when wiping off surfaces. Ask the host's permission before sampling their wine. Might check the bottle for you? Yes, please. The tasting sample should be no more than 20 to 30 milliliters. If the wine is 40, ask the host if she or he would like a new bottle. It smells beautiful. Put the tasting glass in a position where it is not in your way when working at the station. In general, service should be conducted in a clockwise manner from the right of the guest. If applicable to the situation, local service customs can apply, but clear instructions will be given to the sommelier, for example, ladies before gentlemen, at the start of the service. The sommelier should serve in an open-handed service method. This means that if the sommelier is pouring from the left side of the guest, they should also use their left hand. Pour a tasting sample of 20 to 30 milliliters of wine for the host to assess the condition. Ensure that a napkin is used after every pour. Wait for the host's approval before serving the other guests the wine. 
perfect. Pour the guests in an even and a consistent manner without any spills. Each glass should contain a consistent amount close to regular pouring size, approximately 80 to 150 milliliters, based on the size of the glassware and the number of the guests. Pour a maximum of two pours per glass. Ensure that no mousse or liquid spills over the glass. The host is the last one to be poured. Ask if the host would like to keep the bottle chilled on ice if wine is left in it. Would you like me to leave the bottle on the table for you? You may, please. Thank you. If not, ask the host if he or she wants the empty bottle on the table. If so, place the bottle on a coaster on the table with the label facing the guest. If the host declines the offer of having the bottle on the table, make sure to put the bottle within the sight of the guests. Tidy the workstation. Always use a tray. Put back all the details where they belong at the mise en place. Ask if the guests would like to have food recommendations. If not, wish them a pleasant evening and let the guests know that the sommelier will always be at service if needed.